And we are back with Boat 2024. The race is getting hotter and hotter, despite the frigid temperatures and the ice there on the ground in Iowa. That's right, and our Glenna Milberg is officially in Des Moines and has everything you need to know ahead of the caucuses that are just two days away. Good evening from Des Moines, Iowa, where the temperature is negative unbearable, really. And in 48 hours, this becomes the very first official kickoff to the election season, presidential politics. But clearly the biggest player in these Iowa caucuses is going to be the weather. All but empty streets. I went to choir practice last night. Dangerous roads. Minus double digits and burning windswept freeze. When there's a blizzard out, a lot of people and it's below zero, so it keeps people from coming out. Will it keep Iowans from the first in the nation caucus of the presidential election they are so collectively proud to have? I've always thought it was crazy that little old Iowa gets, you know, is the start. In the history of the Iowa caucus, no one has ever mentioned the weather changing the outcome until now. I know we're the campaign that's built to turn out our people and they yeah. Florida's governor candidate pushed on with face to face meet and greets. You deserve an America without chaos. Nikki Haley and former President Trump took much of their event going virtual. There's nobody that's done more for Iowa than Donald Trump when I was president. With just two days remaining to rack up support. Caucus locations can be schools like this churches, they can even be people's living rooms, and people just don't go to vote. They go to actually caucus to debate issues and talk about the candidates and try to persuade the other people to come to their side. Are you persuadable? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Countless will head to caucus still on the fence and even change party registration right there on the way in. I've talked with some people who are really torn about who to support in the caucus because they say, who should I give momentum to? We'll have everything for you in the morning on This Week in South Florida. I hope you'll join us. I'm Glenna Milberg, freezing in Des Moines, Local 10 News.